Hello and welcome to this video on using the equation a equals v minus u divided by t. This is one of the equations that you'll get on your P2 equation sheet and it will look a little something like this. It's the second one down where you've got a equals v minus u divided by t and it tells you what these letters stand for. So a is acceleration, v is final velocity, u is initial velocity and t is time taken. What it doesn't tell you is the units for all of these, so we need to remember these off by heart. So the units for acceleration are meters per second squared, that's what we measure acceleration in. Velocity, whether it's initial velocity, which is start the starting velocity, and final velocity are both measured in meters per second and time is measured in seconds so you need to remember these units but you don't need to remember what the letters stand for because you'll find these on the equation sheet as I showed you so typical questions you'll get might be um, to calculate the acceleration this is especially popular in the foundation paper or if you're doing some higher um, tier stuff it might also ask you to calculate either V u or t as well. So let's give a couple of examples of the questions that you might find that you'll have to use this equation in. We've got this question here that says a cat was running at 2 meters per second and then accelerated to a final, final speed of 5 meters per second. It took 2 seconds for the cat to reach its final speed. Calculate the acceleration of the cat. All you need to do when you find wordy questions like this with a load of numbers in is get your highlighter out in your exam or underline the key points. So we've been asked to calculate acceleration. So we've been asked to calculate the A bit. And to do that, we'll need to find the V, the final velocity, the U, the initial velocity, and the time. So a cat was running at two meters per second and next to that straight away I would just give myself a little note and I'd write u that's the velocity he was starting at two meters per second and then he accelerated to a final speed of five meters per second and next to that you can write all of your questions in the exam don't forget I would write v final velocity and here it says it took two seconds for the cat to reach its final speed, so I would make a note that that was t. All you then need to do is put the numbers in, so write the equation out in full after you find it on the equation sheet. So it will be a equals v minus u divided by t, and then just put the numbers in. So we've been asked to calculate a, so we put the number for v in, which we look is 5, minus the number for u, which is 2, divided by the number for t, and t is 2. And we put that through our calculator. So where people go wrong is how they put it into the calculator. So your calculator should have brackets on, so that will help you. You can put the first bit in brackets, 5 minus 2, that tells the calculator to do that first, and then divide by 2 to get the answer of 1.5 meters per second squared. So we'll do exactly the same thing with another example here. It says a parked car started its journey and reached a top speed of 5 meters per second. It took 5 seconds for the car to reach this speed calculate the acceleration of the car. So again I need to work out acceleration so I write down my equation a equals v minus u divided by t and I just need to put the numbers in. So I'll go a equals v do I have my final velocity well it said it reached a top speed of 5 meters per second minus u my initial velocity 
Now I've purposely worded this question so that it doesn't obviously give you an initial velocity because this is what they'll do in the exam to try and trick you out. There's nowhere here that specifically says the car's initial velocity. But it does tell you some key information and that is that the car is parked. So if your car is parked then your initial velocity is going to be zero meters per second. Okay, so they will do this in the exam to try and catch you out. They won't tell you perhaps the initial velocity, but they'll give you some information to allude to the fact that it starts at zero. So it might be that the car is parked. It might be, for example, that a person is just standing or a dog is sitting down. And you have to work out from that that it must be starting at zero. So then we can put our U in our equation and we've used our V so finally we need to put the number for T in so 5 minus 0 divided by 5 seconds would give you an acceleration of 5 minus 0 divided by 5 which is 1 meters per second squared so do look out for that if they don't give you that initial velocity read through the question very carefully have they hinted to the fact that it started at zero meters per second. So that's the kind of question, questions you'll get um, on foundation and higher tier. Um, the next little bit is for um, higher tier only. Okay, so for higher tier, they might make things a little bit more complicated by asking you to calculate perhaps V or U or T and therefore you will need to rearrange the equation. So foundation, they normally just ask you to work out acceleration so that you don't have to rearrange. But have a think about how you can rearrange that so it would make V equals, U equals, and T equals. Okay, you can pause the video now, try and rearrange it yourself, and then come back and see if you got the answers correct. So for V equals, you should have A times T plus U. For U equals, you should have V minus A times T. And for T equals, you should have V minus U divided by A. So just to show you the working out to show how we got to those answers. You started off with A equals V minus U divided by T. If you multiply both sides by T, you end up with A times T equals V minus U. So to get the V equals, you then just add U to both sides. So you end up with a times t added to u equals v, which if you just switch that way around, you end up with v equals a times t plus u. On this one below, you can go almost straight from uh, this one, really. If you had, um, if you got to the stage where you had v equals a times t plus u, if you wanted u equals, you would just have to take away this a times t. So you'd have u equals v minus the a times the t. And finally over here, if you wanted a equals, first of all, if you had started with a equals v minus u divided by t, just like you've got up here, you'd first of all multiply both sides by t. So you'd end up with a times t equals v minus u. And then because you want a equals, oh sorry, because you want t equals, you then divide both sides by a. And you end up with t equals v minus u divided by a. So bear in mind that you have, might have to rearrange the um, equations like that in the higher tier. This is probably one of the most difficult rearrangements that you might have to make on this exam. So now if you're confident on rearranging the question, have a go at a couple of questions which are a little bit harder. Uh, if you work them out on a piece of scrap paper, pause the video and then come back and see if you got the answers correct. 
So let's underline the key information that we've got in this first question. Um, if you read through it, we've got an acceleration at 4 meters per second, so we can write uh, A next to that. We've got a time, 5 seconds, which is T, and we've been asked to calculate the final velocity, okay, which is V. So what we're missing at the moment is the U part, the initial velocity. I can't see any more um, numbers in there, but this first statement gives us an indication of its initial velocity because it says a cat was sat in the barn and if you're sat down that implies that you have an initial velocity of zero meters per second because you're starting from still. So we need to use the rearranged equation of this to make it v equals so we've got v equals a times t plus u so if we put our numbers in, we've got V equals acceleration, which is 4 times 5, plus our initial velocity of 0. So our final velocity is 20 metres per second. And again, for this question over here, we'll highlight the uh, key parts. So we've got an acceleration of 2 metres per second. So that's our A. We've got a time of two seconds, and that's our t. Um, we've got a final velocity of 10 meters per second, so that's our v. And we need to calculate the initial velocity, so we need to calculate u. So we have to rearrange this equation up here that's on our equation sheet to get u equals v minus a times t. Putting the numbers in then, u equals 10 from our v over here, minus 2 times 2. So our initial velocity is 10 minus 4, which is 6 metres per second. So very well done if you got those correct. They are the harder style questions that you might see on the higher tier paper, but you might also just see the questions that we did before where you just have to work out acceleration. The most important things for these questions is to remember the units for all of these things and also to recognise that they'll try and trick you out with that initial velocity and perhaps imply zero metres per second um, in the description. If you like this video then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe to watch all my other videos. Thanks for watching.